This is Dr. Yolanda Chavez Leva, the director of the Institute of Oral History and the Borderlands Public History Lab at UTEP. I'm standing here on my campus with Ciudad Juarez behind me, our sister city. And I'm here in this one minute to share two lessons with you that we as fronterizos, as borderlands people know. One is that fear is nothing new. In recent times, with increased fear of the border and the call for a border wall, we've seen this history before. We've had a border fence since 2008. In the 40s and 50s, agricultural workers who were coming here to work at the invitation of the U.S. government were sprayed in the face with DDT. In the 1910s and 20s, people crossing the border had to be kerosene bathed in order to appease the fears of Americans. We were the laboratory for Operation Hold the Line. So we understand fear. But our second lesson here is that we're all connected. If you stand on Scenic Drive, which is a road on the mountain that divides at Paso and Half, and you look down, you see the communities of at Paso and Ciudad Juarez as one contiguous community. We are tied together by familial ties, by cultural ties, and by economic interdependence. Here on the border, we understand that we are all connected.